Hey everyone, um, so today I wanted to go over as an overview of how I added the Furious Trudy to my Fat Shark Attitude V2s. Um, I have this one so I can just unhook it like a normal one. Uh, looks kind of like a botched job, but it works and uh, you know whatever works. So to get into them there's a screw in this hole here in this here. I believe that they had a sticker covering them so you might want to pull them stickers off. Once you get the screws loose, they'll fall out, or one of them will. And then to get these cups off, there's a little tab in here. So you just pull one side up. Like so. And then you can just pop it open somehow. so and then in here you can see there's a plug here and one here the easiest way to get this card out is I just push on where the plug-in goes pops up slides out Unhook, unhook, and as you can see I just desoldered the old one from the board. So the old one sat on here like so. Um, desoldering it can be kind of a pain. Uh, there's, there's a plastic strip that goes across the pins. So here's a set of new pins. This plastic strip. I just took a knife and you can pull them off the pins and then take a soldering iron to them. Um, I would probably, if I was to do it again, I would probably go between the two boards and just cut the pins off and then go each one of these pins as it's soldered on here, wedge something between here. I just used my my thumbnail and pry it up and then heated it up and you could feel it pop out a little bit and you just work your way around until they all come out. And then once you do that, come back in here and with the soldering iron and a pair of pliers and helping hands, um, heat them up and then grab them and pull them out but be careful so you don't pull any of the traces up or anything um, I would recommend pulling out this way uh, most of the traces if you mess up a trace on this side it'd probably be a little more difficult to fix um, I still have flux on here I never bothered cleaning it off and then once you do that, then you take a female header. So I got a strip like this. I counted out nine pins, broke it, trimmed up the end a little bit, and put it through the holes. Um, I used a solder sucker to clean out the holes. So it would just heat from, from one side and then took the solder sucker and suck the solder iron out of the holes and then put the pin header in there solder it back up and then that's complete and then you can go ahead and plug everything back in and 
then this part, I there's a couple of grooves down in here where this card sits. Uh, not sure if you can see them very well. There's one there and there's one on the other side. So the edge of the card slides down in those slots. I'm struggling to see with, through the camera. Slot there. Slot on the other side. Uh, might have to move the wires a little bit. And then I just marked it here and uh, took my Dremel tool and cut a line down until the card sits down in there nicely. And then I did the same thing with the top side. And I just, I cut up and then trial fit the, the module until I could get it. And I just kept trimming it away until I could get it to fit in there nicely. Um, somebody else might have a better way of doing it. I think after the module is in there, it fits pretty nicely. Um, then I just took hot solder or hot glue and put a dab here and ran a strip across the top and secures it nicely and you don't have to worry about it. Now I'll get this back together and we'll show you that it fires up. sure that the straps on the right way so everything just pops back together and then you take the little tab here there's a groove and I just use my fingernail to push it through and it fits on there nicely Thing with the other side. Screw back in. The longest part about this was removing the old module off that board. You got to be super careful because if you mess up any of the traces, it can be a challenge. So it's not really something for the faint of heart. And then just line up your pins and it'll fit in there. And then the battery. And there you go. All kinds of
tons of fun. Ball works. There you go. The Furious 2D on Fat Shark Attitude V2s. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, if not, leave some comments below and I will try my best to answer your questions. Have a good day.